Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to be looking at the Lag Mark 6, although in general people tend to call them the Lag Mark 2s. The person who pointed me in the direction of this will skin you alive for saying that, because Weapons and Stuff 93 doesn't really know what he's talking about when it comes to lags. There is a fellow on the internet, you'll be able to find him mostly on Reddit, his name is u slash, that's you know, user for Reddit if you don't know how it works, uh, Baroque for days like Baroque the font, for the number, and days. I'm guessing he really likes his font. Uh, he pointed me in the direction of this because I came to him, as he knows all about lags, uh, light anti-gas respirators. He knows so much about them, it's silly. Like, it's ridiculous how much he knows. This man is a font of information for these. Like, I'm talking about dedicating your life to one item. It's quite alarming. I'll ask him one question about it, and he'll go into all these numbers and codes about an L3 face blank, and I just go cross-eyed. But you can check the wiki. He has uh, changed the wiki to be uh, mind-boggling as well. So anyway, big thanks to him because after I asked him where, you know, which ones I can get in a size large, I did want the ones with the indent. He told me, you know, like the Legmark 2As, which are the most common ones apparently. I think that's the one we sold to Denmark. Later on, like a couple of weeks later, he came to me with this and he said, hey, are you the guy looking for a large lag? He sent me this. He actually caught me after I'd spent all my money on a, what I thought was an MP5 flecked arm jacket, an M61 V2, which I thought was a V3, and a adapter. So, a whole little mess, and I had no money, so I had to do some shit to get this. Mine is a bad example of a good mask, because mine is quite damaged. In fact, I'm going to turn on the, uh... tell you what, I'm not going to turn on my big light, I'm going to turn on the novelty one. Yeah, makes all the difference. Can you even tell it's on? I can't, because it just turned off. Solar panel piece of shit from B&M Bargains. Let there be light! Bada boom, yellow. Because I think my light's breaking. So yes, Lag Mark 6, this is British post-World War 2, but of course it is based on the light anti-gas respirator series that was through the Second World War. Uh, check the wiki for a lot of information. I love the big eye lenses of that era of masks, they are my favourite, and of course since I live in Britain I can find them quite easily. Uh, so does Baroque for days. So, pretty cool. These have more flexible rubber apparently than the earlier models with the sort of concave, what do they call these, the valve holders, more concave valve holder. You can see here, this one's a d voice diaphragmed one, because this is from 1952. April 1952 by Avon. You can see it says there, it's an L for large. This is a delightful mask. I really did want one of these. Uh, these are the smaller, later 60mm filters. This one's in quite good condition. Little focus. Guess not. It's not leaking, which is lovely, but apparently, according to the expert, he says they don't contain any. I forget the company that did test something. It was Polton or something like that. I forget. Pollock. Fuck knows. Um, he did a review, oh, sorry, he didn't do a review on it. The company did a test on them and said they don't contain asbestos, which a lot of British World War II gas masks did, as we've established in the past. Uh, it's funny because it says LMK3, so I assume this is a lag Mark III filter, I don't know. But it's made from 1953. 27th of April, 1953. So I don't know, maybe it's a Mark III filter. There you go. I'm not as stupid as I look. What else to say about this? Well, it's 60mm, so of course, if you want one of these to be more modernised, you can just fit in an adapter. Try using a metal filter like this, I dare you, because this is heavier than the mask. It really is a light anti-gas respirator. Mine is damaged in places, I'm not going to go into details, but I'll say this. This yellow is what colour all that should be. So this has been in the sun. It's a bit rusty and it's got some dirt around the sides, but I don't want to wash it because it looks actually pretty cool. See on there, number 4, Mark 2, RAL 6.52, PR 56 with a big red 4. I've covered it in safety pins to keep the uh, to keep these straps in place. All the sort of stray fabric, stray string was a lot worse. Some of these straps were damaged. If we take a look at the inside, you'll be able to see no oral nasal cup. No Tissot tubes, like even the Mark V GSR has Tissot tubes. It occurred to me I never did a review on the Mark V GSR. I'll I'll get to it. 
one day, probably. I don't want to do it for now, because there's no point. Uh, it's got a very good voice diaphragm. For an old mask like this, iron masks from 30 years ago that have shit voice diaphragms. My S10 from 2008 sounds worse than this, because it uses a voice trumpet. Uh, for example, here, I'm actually going to put it on. Give me a moment, because I don't want to just rush and put it on, because this is an old mask. So, I'm going to put it on carefully. And there we go. It's a little bit muffled, and there's something inside this mask that I'm not fond of. It's kind of kind of itchy. Yeah, I'm going to use a Finnish M61 filter. And there we go. And like I said, it's actually a pretty good voice diaphragm for an old mask like this. Now, because it's got no oral nasal cup, it does fog up very badly. Like me, if you want a mask that looks like this, all beautiful with big bug eyes, uh, the fogging will be a pain in the ass. Uh, Brock for days will insist that you can just use anti-fogging, which I do own. But just get a C3. They're more modern. They don't look as good. They don't have that vintage feel or the vintage smell. I mean, I love the smell of the lags. Like these old rubbers, like the Mark V GSR, they have the same rubber smell and they're beautiful. But, uh, no, I, I can't even see. <laughs> I did once try wearing a Mark V DSR for one of our videos, you might be able to see it, uh, Abdul and Abdul episode 2. The Abdul series is currently on hold of course due to global pandemic. And I couldn't see during the whole record. Like during the whole time we were filming those scenes I actually couldn't see. So just keep that in mind if you ever go back and watch it. I'm going to take this off now. Oh, mine however was also not airtight. When I've cover it and breathe in the voice diaphragm crossed with you know the exhale this big yellow sheet behind the uh, dots there has got a hole in it and air seeps through it dramatically even when I breathe in normally without resistance I do feel air on my right eyeball so it's a shame if you're wondering why I had it stuffed in a t-shirt it's because of that like I'm not going to store it like that for Christ's sakes it's going to go all cockeyed if I do that, and you can see where the previous owner has had it sat like that. And it's very evident how it's been sat. It's also worth pointing out that mine came with a uh, free spider. I'm not sure if you can see it. You can see the web kind of covering that one. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it. There was a spider in here. So, fun times. If you want any information on it, I fully recommend checking the wiki. Uh, Brock for days has sorted it because now it is a font of information. There's nothing I really need to say. Uh, these were used after the Second World War, I believe, up until the S6 was developed for the SAS and the General British Military. It's hopefully a mask I will get to have at some point. I'm looking for one in a size large, and they're a pain in the ass to find. Very lovely gas mask. Like I do love the design of these, but there is a man in the UK who loves them more. So good luck. It would actually be interesting if I ever go to like military markets once all this is over, because I'd probably invite him. Say, hey, Barack, you've done me a good. Do you want to come down? You know, catch a train. We'll meet you halfway. Go kick the shit and go find some gas masks. That would be nice. That would be in an ideal world, and I'd bring my hippie friend, because he's always fun to have. He likes a gas mask, and he smokes like a fucking chimney. You know who you are, because you watch these. So, yes. Very lovely gas mask. If you're wondering what the red is, these, what would have been yellow tape, there's a sort of uh, wire running along this that holds it in place, so you cannot fix this. Like, my valve holder is broken, I can't just pop this open and have a look. I can't repair it. It's That's damaged forever, and it it breaks my heart. But I did buy this to wear, I'm not going to lie. Um, I do like to be able to wear a gas mask, but now it's just become this thing I want to care for. So hopefully I can retain its shape with two of my t-shirts. And uh, I keep it in a cupboard, out of its sunlight. So, hopefully, that will do it some good. Ah, caught my thumb in the door, bastard. So yes. Lag Mark 6, the whole Lag series, they're very lovely. Hopefully I'll get to try a Lag Mark 2A at some point, the Danish export, I believe. But it was Danish import, because it was sent by us. It was an export from Britain to Denmark. Yes. 
Hope you enjoyed. Um, apart from the Serbian M2 and the M61. Oh, and the Mark V GSR. There's no more gas mask ready to cover. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the GSR, but um, I'd like to. It would be a good mask to review. Because no one's done one. But, uh, I'll get to it. Thank you for your time. Hope you've enjoyed. And, uh, stay safe out there with all this upsetting worldwide business. I'm bored, so let's just admire this. Good. Thank you for your time.